Kylie's law was affected for teen drivers in May 2010. The law was passed in memory of 16-year-old Long Valley resident Kylie Delasio, who passed away December 1, 2006 in a car accident. Both the driver of the Audi, Tanner Birch, and Kylie died that night. The law was put into effect almost three years later. It requires drivers with provisional licenses to keep a red decal on their license plate, moves curfew to 11 p.m., and has other provisions. Senator Thomas Goodwin and Assemblyman Robert Schroeder now want action to repeal this legislation. This is just from concerned parents that are afraid that their young drivers are going to fall victims to predators. And I ask the chairman, please hear one of these bills so that the Assembly this month can vote on repealing the red stickers so that my child and all our young drivers will not be targets of predators. It's clear the legislature misjudged the opposition to the decals. Parents are just not simply comfortable with this law. That's why we cannot take a wait and see approach to this. We cannot let this law continue. I've sent letters to Senator Sacco and also to the New Jersey Attorney General seeking to repeal this law. Repealing this law is a common sense approach to ensure that our young drivers, and the young drivers are going to be out in the roads. They're going to be going down to the shore. They're going to be driving more because they're going to be out of school. We must keep them out of harm's way, and we must act. I'm not a politician, and I'm not a public speaker. I'm here because I am a concerned parent. If you know my daughter, Christina, you would know that she's not afraid of much. She's an athlete, and she's strong and confident, or at least she was until a few weeks ago. Christina is 17 years old and received her provisionary license in January. When we heard that Kylie's law had been passed, we immediately went and, uh, to the motor, vehicle, motor vehicles and purchased the red stickers and put them on my daughter's car, even though we had serious reservations about it. Christina was driving home from work on Friday, May 14th, around 10 p.m. As she was driving, she realized there had been a car behind her for several miles and suspected she was being followed. She tried to pull me on my cell phone. She was afraid she didn't know what to do. I, I was at a concert and I didn't hear the call. She was afraid to drive straight home and so she turned down a side street. She went up and down the various side streets in our town and was still being followed. At this point, this went on for about 15 minutes. At this point, she was in tears and in a panic. She wasn't thinking clearly and couldn't reach me or my husband for advice. Finally, whoever it was that was following her got tired of the game and they, they did leave her. Um, they drove away. By this time, she did reach me and I immediately called the police and they met her at our house. We filed a police report and later heard that this had happened to several people in our town, our very small town. Um, thank God Christina is okay, but she was extremely frightened. She rarely drives at night anymore and usually has a friend come to pick her up. My daughter was so distracted by the car behind her that night. In her distress, she could have easily lost control of her car and got into a serious accident. The person who followed her could have been a predator out to find a 17-year-old girl. In fact, they're easy to spot these days because the state of New Jersey has branded them. They are now targets. Please. Please repeal Kylie's law immediately before one of our ch children gets hurt. Do it for my daughter. I have a 16-year-old daughter who currently has a driving permit and a 17-year-old daughter who's had her GDL since October of last year. Three weeks after the new Kylie's law became effective, my 17-year-old was followed. Fortunately, she was able to lose the purse. Like Linda said, she's as she's driving, she's looking in her rear view mirror and not really concentrating on the front of the road. So that's another danger. I will never forget the fear and panic on her face when she walked in the house. She was visibly shaken. Once she calmed down, she said she did not want to have the tax on her car anymore. This incident has put me in a moral dilemma. Do I make her obey the law and potentially put her life at risk again from a potential predator? Or do I tell her to ignore the law and not use the tax? If I make her abide by the law, God forbid something happens to her. Not only would I be devastated, but I would never forgive myself for being one of the reasons this happened to her.
law-abiding parents are being forced to make this decision every day in New Jersey, to obey the law and put their children at risk, or to disregard the law. Is this really what we want to force the parents of New Jersey to choose against the law or their children? Parents are supposed to protect their children, and so is the law. The fact that people are saying that stickers, that decals, are going to make young drivers targets for predators, uh, you know, kind of ignores the reality that windows are transparent and predators can see young drivers right now in the car. And when a young driver walks to the car, a would-be predator can see a driver. And, and finally, the fact is that most predator crimes uh, happen among people who know each other. Uh, the the, the so-called anonymous attack by the anonymous predator well, I'm not saying it doesn't happen. It is by far the rarity. Uh, most of the crimes that uh, and Good, uh, Senator Goodwin and Assemblyman Schroeder talked about are crimes that happen because the victim and the, the, the criminal know each other. Uh, they're, they're crimes of convenience uh, and not, not random events. And so, you know, there, there are lots of facts out there that say that this is something that ought to be given an opportunity to work. Uh, there are lots of other jurisdictions and countries around the world that use exactly this law uh, without any untoward events. And so I think what we're looking at here is uh, more hyperbole than fact, uh, you know, more, more hysteria than uh, reality. And I think we ought to give the law an opportunity to work. It became effective May 1, now June 15th. Correct. I don't. I don't think. I don't think anybody could make it a, a, an intelligent argument that you know after uh, 36 days uh, we've conclusively proven anything.